Blender 3D is a powerful and versatile application that can be run on almost any device, as long as the minimum requirements are met. However, the level of performance you can expect to achieve with Blender will depend on the specific tasks you are trying to complete. For example, if you are planning to use Blender for low poly modeling, then you likely won't have any issues running the software on most modern laptops. However, if you are planning to use Blender for creating hair physics or other resource intensive tasks, then you will need a more powerful device to ensure that the software runs smoothly. When it comes to compatibility, Blender can run on most desktop PCs and laptops, as long as they meet the minimum requirements. However, there are some devices that may not be able to run Blender at all. For example, Chromebooks use Chrome OS as their operating system, which is not currently compatible with Blender 3D. Additionally, mobile devices such as phones and tablets are not compatible with Blender and it would be difficult to use the software on such small screens. If you are planning to use Blender for simple tasks like creating low poly characters and assets, you won't need a powerful setup to run the software. However, if you are planning to use Blender for more intensive tasks such as 3D animation or sculpting, then you will need a more powerful device to ensure the software runs smoothly. To help you understand the resource requirements for different Blender tasks, we compiled the table that ranks the various tasks from the least to the most resource intensive. This table includes tasks like Blender user interface navigation, low poly modeling, material application, 2D animation, photo editing, video editing, high poly scene creation, 3D animation, sculpting, and lastly simulation. It is important to note that even if you are planning to use Blender for simple tasks, you should still meet the minimum requirements to run the software. In fact, we would recommend meeting the recommended requirements when it comes to the CPU and the system memory to ensure the software runs smoothly. If you are unsure about whether or not your device will be able to run Blender, you can try downloading the software and testing it out on your device. In conclusion, whether or not you need a powerful PC to use Blender will depend on the specific task you are planning to complete with the software. By understanding the resource requirements for different tasks and ensuring that your device meets the minimum requirements, you will be able to use Blender to its full potential.